It's just so pretty. They're so good, you guys. It's a neutral girl's dream. What's up you guys and welcome back to my channel. For those that are new here, hi, my name is Rochelle and I like to make thrifting and fashion videos along with a little bit of beauty and just sharing my life with you guys over here on my little corner of the internet. For today's video, I'm really excited because I'm doing something that I haven't done in quite a while and I'm doing a makeup video. I feel like I was just going crazy with the thrifting videos while I was on my trips over the summer times. I went on a road trip and I thrifted the whole time and then I went to Las Vegas and I thrifted the whole time. I'm ready to do a beauty video today. I am going to use one of my very favorite eyeshadow palette companies, Alter Ego Cosmetics, sent me over this gorgeous new palette. It is called the Sahara Palette. Sahara? Sahara? <laughs> it is so pretty and I was really excited to use this guy out because it's all neutral eyeshadows and you guys know I love me a neutral eyeshadow. They also have a lot of like really cool colored shadows in there which is right up my alley. You guys know me, I like a lot of like neutral colors for eyeshadow and makeup. I like brown, champagne, it's just really like neutral, natural colors. I'm so excited to try this out on camera for you guys today. If you guys don't know, Shop Alter Ego is an amazing company. They always have really beautiful palettes that kind of dupe high-end palettes. So they have beautiful color stories, but then their prices are amazing. So this palette only retails for $16 on their website. I will link in the description box down below where you can find this palette on their website. And also I have a code for you guys. I don't make any commission off of it. It's just for you guys to save 10% um, on your order. And it is just my first name, Rochelle. So if you guys end up wanting to try anything from Shop Alter Ego, that'll just help you guys out a little bit. If you guys are curious to see how I like this palette and how I created this eyeshadow look today, then go ahead and just keep on watching. All right, you guys, so I think I want to do a pretty like natural looking look today. I don't want to get like too smoky or anything like that because I just have like very daytime things to do today. I have to film a few other videos and stuff like that. So I think I just want to keep it pretty light. Sometimes I say that and then I go all out. So I've already primed my eyelids with concealer and set it just with a little clear powder. So I'm just going to go into Adobe right here, which is just kind of like a, an Adobe brick kind of color, a little bit darker than Savannah. What I also really like about this palette is that there's so many crease colors. I hate it when palettes don't have that many crease colors because I personally like a lot of options with the crease colors, but they have like so many crease colors. It's great. I think I'm also gonna do a halo eye. I feel like halo eyes are just like what is most flattering on my eye shape to make my eyes look bigger. I love the tone of this color cause I do like a little bit of like pink colors but I don't necessarily love like super, super pink. A lot of people can really rock that like really pinky burgundy red colors on their eyes. And for me, it just looks crazy. But I like that this is a little bit more neutral pink. That color definitely went on really easily. It seems like it blended out. It seemed pretty consistent with the Alter Ego formula from the past, like seems like the same so far. To deepen up the outer corners for my halo eye, I'm going to take this color right here called Raven. I'm just going to place that on each side of my eyelid in the outer corner. I like to deposit the color before blending it out first. I do this on myself and on clients I noticed and sometimes people ask me what I'm doing cause I like leave it looking like that. And yeah, like I said, I like to deposit all the color from my brush onto where I'm going to be blending it out and then come back and blend it out. So I look a little crazy for a second, but don't worry. You guys, I haven't done a makeup related video in so long. I like doing them, but I feel like you guys don't end up watching them as much. A few of you guys have said that you do enjoy them and you want me to incorporate a little bit more of them. But I feel like every time I do one, people just like don't end up watching it, which makes me sad because you guys know I absolutely love makeup. I feel very creative and it's just really fun for me. It's like my happy time during the day. So many people are like, oh, how do you have the time to do that? And I'm like, I don't know. This is what I consider like my relaxing time is doing my makeup and just like 
enjoying some downtime, I would say. So pretty. So I'm pretty sure that this palette is emulating one of the Natasha Denona palettes. I'll put it on the screen like right here to show you guys which one it is emulating. And that thing has to be like 126 bucks or something like so expensive, which I understand splurging on an eyeshadow palette that's that expensive um, sometimes, but sometimes it's just ridiculous. If you can get the same exact look for $16, this palette's only $16, you guys. And if you can get like the exact same look for $16, I just think it's ridiculous that people pay that much money for eyeshadow palettes. Maybe if it's like your wedding day eyeshadow palette or something like that. But sometimes people like have all of these palettes that are $126 each. It's just crazy. Especially when you can find things that can give you the same look. Like I just can't relate, I guess. Let me know what you guys think about that. When I really want a look to pop, I like to put down like a really shiny base underneath. And my favorite type is the Inglot gel liners, but they make a bunch of like really beautiful colors. So this is color number 94. It's just like a champagne-y kind of like shimmery color, but this just makes the shimmer on top look so much brighter and more intense. So I'm just gonna place a little bit of this Inglot 94 right in the center there. You could use like a cream shadow too, would work well. It also helps it stay a lot longer throughout the day. And I'm not even being like super precise. I'm not making this a cut crease. I'm just kind of like laying and slapping it down. You can find Ingla on Camera Ready Cosmetics and also at Macy's. I don't think all locations carry Ingla. Some locations do. For those of you guys that don't know, I literally am obsessed with Ingla and I don't know why more people don't talk about Inglot. I'm going to take this color right here called Jewel. It's the lightest and the more cool toned of the shimmers. And I'm just going to pack that right on the center. Yes, yes, yes. So pretty. Alter Ego has done it again. I literally haven't been disappointed with any of the Alter Ego palettes. Like they just got it down. By the way, you guys, this is not a sponsored video. They do send me their products for free for me to try, but I don't have to make a video. I don't have to talk about it or anything like that. They just send it to me in PR. I'm going back in and I'm going to mix Adobe with Savannah and I'm just going to blend out the edges of where the champagne color and the dark color like meet, just so that they blend and there's no harsh lines. Just going in with a little gel liner, I'm going to use this LA Girl Glide Gel Liner. I'm gonna do a smoky lash line because I've been really into that lately. I feel like this would be a beautiful everyday palette. I always buy like really colorful palettes and then whenever I like use them or wear them, I just like hate it, so <laughs> I'm boring. <laughs> I take the black color called Mesa. Honestly, just looking at it, it kind of looks slightly gray and like it has a tiny bit of a sheen to it. So we'll see what it looks like on the eye. Seems pretty matte. I like how I said I was gonna do a really light natural look and then look at me, I'm like smoking out my lash line. It's always opposite of what I say it's gonna be. Happens to me when I'm shopping too. I'm like, hey, I'm gonna spend $20 today. I'm not gonna go crazy. And then I literally find a whole cart full of clothes. Whenever I'm like, oh yeah, I'm ready to spend hella money. I find like two items. Just being really careful with this black color and leaving it right next to my lash line. I like that, that's really nice. Okay, okay, and I just wanna add a little bit of color right next to that black. So I'm going in with the color Adobe. Kiss that right next to the black. You guys, leave me some suggestions down below of videos that you want. I know that a bunch of you guys have asked for a house tour. I feel like the reason I haven't done a home tour is because my house is a mess <laughs> and I'd have to like clean up. I feel like I try to film so that you can't see how messy my house is, but like I am not a clean freak. I don't think I'm like the dirtiest person ever, but like, like we're not good at putting stuff away. <laughs> you know what I mean? Just gonna put some better than sex mascara on really quickly. Yeah, I know that so many of you guys have asked for a house tour, but gosh, that requires me to organize and put stuff away, but I will eventually do it. I also want to do a um, closet 
declutter, I think, video. I do just more styling videos. I do a lot of thrifting and I feel like I'm getting a little bit burnt out and I need to like pump the brakes with my thrifting videos because I have too many clothes. So I'm gonna do the decluttering and listing all my stuff on Depop. And then I also want to just do more styling videos. So give me suggestions of like maybe like scenarios that you want ideas how to style like going to brunch or things like that. Running errands, copying celebrity styles or like copying Pinterest ideas. I don't know, give me suggestions of like what you'd like to see and I will definitely make that. All right, I'm just gonna pop on some lashes really quickly off camera. You guys always ask what lashes I use when I'm on Instagram and on here. I purchase a lot of my lashes off of AliExpress, so that's where I suggest checking out eyelashes. So I will just be right back. We'll pop some lashes on and I'll give you guys a close up and my final thoughts. All right, you guys, here is the finished look with eyelashes on. I just love the way this look came together. I was like a halo eye for some reason. I feel like it makes the eyes look a lot bigger than your eyes are. I, I like it on my clients and on myself, but not that many people ask for a halo eye. The jewel color shimmer did seem a tiny bit chalky, I would say to me. I think to get the most color payout for that color, I would just wet my brush next time. It did help to put the cream shadow down and it is still beautiful. It's not like really like a wet, creamy formula. It's like a little bit dusty, but it does look beautiful on the eyes. The mattes were so nice. They blended out really easy. They were pigmented. That black looks pretty darn black for a $16 eyeshadow palette. Tell me that this palette is just not so like wearable and neutral and $16. Let's see. There is 15 shades in there and it's $16. So it's like a dollar an eyeshadow. It's amazing. I like packaging that is more minimal just because I feel like I can actually take it with me traveling and it's easier to carry in my makeup artist kit. I don't like it when packaging is like really big and bulky and excess. I like it when it's nice and sleek, but still feels sturdy. So I really like that as well. All right, you guys. So my final thoughts on this palette is that I absolutely love it. Like I said, I feel like this is totally worth the $16. I literally love shop alter ego palettes. I have all of them. This palette is probably my favorite so far. And then second runner up is my Temptress palette, just because I love cool tones. This palette honestly outperformed my, the ABH palette. I honestly liked this palette more. I seriously think that the shimmers in this outperforms the ABH palette. And it was like a fraction of the price. There is also the Daydream palette. This palette was really good. It's just not naturally the colors that I wear, but it is gorgeous. Whenever I wear these tones, other people really like it on my eyes, but I don't necessarily personally really like it on my eyes, but it's gorgeous and a dupe for the Huda palette. I actually really love this one too. This is also a Natasha Denona dupe palette. It has more of those like greens and golds. Also really gorgeous. Love this palette. Love that like mustard color up there. So again, I am in love with Alter Ego palettes. If you guys haven't checked them out, you totally should. I feel like sometimes the lower end palettes, they don't have the right color story. So the thing that's great about the shop Alter Ego is they're always like a replica of a high end palette. So the color story makes sense. And then the quality is there. I absolutely love them. I definitely think you guys should check them out. I stand behind them 100%. You guys know me, I'm all about like looking trendy, being fashionable, looking beautiful but like on a budget you know what I mean that's why I love thrifting I'm just like a thrifty type person I like to save money but I still want to look really bomb I still want to look really cute and so these are like right in line with everything that I stand for especially on this channel it's just so pretty they're so good you guys I love this I love this palette so much it's beautiful it's a neutral girl's dream. All right you guys let me know down below too if you guys want me to do more makeup tutorials or just like makeup type videos. I would love to if you guys want it as well. That is it for this video. I will see you guys very, very soon in my next video. Bye.